I would think that as a teacher, uh, I am I'm determined, which means I'm determined to make sure that my students succeed. I am focused. Uh, I am a learner. I'm constantly learning as I teach, which is why I think I enjoy it so much because every group of students uh, that I have to work with has been a pleasure and I've learned from them and their experiences that they bring to the table. Ngozi Onora and I am an associate professor here in the School of Education at Millican University. Well, as you can see from my office, one of the courses that I teach is children's literature. It, it's probably my first love in terms of what I teach in education, in the teacher education program. But I also teach uh, the other literacy courses in the sequence, which would be language arts methods um, and reading methods. And um, I also teach in the Long Vanderburg Scholars Program, which is a lot of fun to do. Um, and then I teach in the African American Studies minor and I teach the introduction to African American Studies and the Patterns of Protest and Resistance course. So I've always loved theater or, or drama, theater, um, uh, any type of spoken word, poetry, all of that has been something that I have done kind of on the sidelines. And before coming to Milliken, I was an elementary education teacher and always incorporated dramatic activities into the curriculum there and found that in terms of reading and motivation, it really worked uh, well with the children that I taught. So I just bring that into some of the work that I do here at the college level uh, because I think that we have so many students who enjoy that here at Milliken whether they're majoring in it or not, they also have it as a love and I think it, it matters to them that they can incorporate those things into what they do in other areas. In education, you, you definitely have to be flexible and we've seen that um, with the, the COVID pandemic that we've had to rethink the way that we've done things in the past in a whole new way. We're very lucky on this campus to have the resources to help us make that transition a lot easier. But we've had to really have some important conversations about what does this mean for us as a department moving forward? What are those things that we've learned from being in a pandemic now for almost a year that we want to continue, whether we're in a pandemic or not in the future? And what are those things that um, have been revealed that were, you know, maybe problematic practices in that the new way of doing things, the new normal is just not going to have room for that. I think we're also having conversations around how, what can we do as a department to help prepare our teachers more effectively to work with diverse populations, not just students, but including diverse faculty, diverse administration, um, in a diverse community. Oh, so many good parts uh, about being a teacher, but um, obviously it's the, the students are number one. You know, I can't tell you that in the almost 20 years, but this will be the end of my 19th year here at Milliken, and students, 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 it is the experiences that I have with the students. I mean, it's what homecoming is about. When, the, when they come back and you see that they have flourished or maybe they've gone a completely different direction, maybe they're not even going into teaching, the students are the life of this campus. And so um, that has been the, the top thing for me teaching here at Millican University. I think the other piece for me is that, um, you know, typically the university offers lots of really great programming um, and that's through its student organizations, but also just the university itself has offered some very high quality programming and, and, and some, some cultural programming as well as uh, general programming that I just think is, is superb. Um, and Millikan's known for that, especially in the arts. And I enjoy my content. I love um, language and literacy. So that, you know, I enjoy teaching that. I enjoy literature and, the, and my colleagues as well. I've, I've really made some strong relationships with both faculty, um, staff, and administration here. And I have felt uh, very blessed with those relationships that I have um, fostered over the years.